All right, in this video, we are going to create SQL Server linked server to a, a DB2 database. So let's uh, Google. So from Google, uh, you will find some uh, internet um, link. Uh, for example, this one about 10 years ago. And uh, for this one, um, basically, it is um, it is more generic. Um, it is use micro, uh, Microsoft uh, ORDB provider for DB2 for uh, to create the the um, the link to server and uh, the kind of um, not very straightforward. So the lots of uh, you know information and uh, in, the, in this video I'm going to try use the IBM's uh, um, provider. Okay, it's called uh, a DB2 or uh, provider instead of a Microsoft provider. And uh, the reason uh, we need to link the server sometimes for reporting purpose. Uh, you want, you know, and to use like uh, SQL Server or uh, SSRS do some kind of reporting and the link it to a DB2 server. So you can also see the videos, there's some uh, uh, videos, um, but really none of it is uh, for the uh, DB2 area W. Okay, let's go to the plan. So this is a brief diagram. So the server I'm going to use as a um, like a target server is a Linux. The host name is Rail 8A. It has a database called GSDB created and running on port uh, 50,000. So on the Windows box, we have a SQL Server installed. We also have a DB2 client installed. So that is where the um, the OLE um, provider is uh, provided by I IBM. So let's go through these uh, steps. Very simple. Okay, we already did a Google. Let me open the SSMS to connect to this Windows SQL Server and get it started, okay? I'm gonna use a GUI to do this. It's uh, straightforward. So this is my um, SSMS. Um, so let's uh, connect to, um, I'm gonna connect uh, like a uh, local. So this is the database, SQL Server. So let me minimize this one. So under server uh, object, so here is where the, the link to the server, you know. So we don't have links at this moment, so we're going to create a new link to the server. So you're going to give a name for the link to the server. Let's we got to go. Uh, linked to db2 example and here uh, you're gonna pick the uh, provider so here the list of providers traditionally you're going to use ip um, microsoft provider for db2 because we have db2 client installed on this machine so this is the IBM OLE per, uh, DB provider. So we're gonna use this one, okay? So the product name, simply it's gonna be called DB2. Now it's the data source. Here is, is the, um, the things we need to figure it out, okay? The data source, if you use the Microsoft one, that is going to be ODBC data source. But here, because we're going to use IBM's provider, 
So this is going to be a catalog of the database. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to the Google page. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to Google. So I'm gonna go uh, to the IBM's um, web page. So it says um, how to create linked service IBM ORE uh, DB provider. So here, um, this, we're going to use this SP add link to server to create. Those is the information we need to provide. And um, so the data source is basically the database name. And um, so that the database need to be cataloged on this Windows machine. Okay, if you read read here you will see it is called a database alias it's it is basically you catalog a remote database on your local um server okay a local machine so 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 in our case we don't have this data source yet so we are going to um, um, catalog from using the DB2 um, client utility, okay? So let me bring up the terminal window. So here, um, so we're going to do this um, catalog database, okay? So this is the, um, The terminal window. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a catalog. So, basically, the information we have we have a remote server, the remote server. So, remote server in our case, it is um, where it is, it is the Linux. We also have a remote database called uh, GSDB, the remote, okay. And running on port. This is the given information. So now let's uh, do the catalog. Okay. The first thing we're going to catalog the um, the TCP IP node. Okay. So let me go back to this um, catalog DB. I think we also need to uh, see the catalog. Let me see here. Okay. So it's going to be catalog node, okay? So this is typically, you know, if you working for the uh, data DB2, or uh, you're going to be um, pretty familiar with this procedure, okay? So that is where you need to connect uh, remotely. Okay, so the syntax for catalog, it's, let me do this. Use question mark to find the syntax. So first, we're gonna catalog the, uh, the node. So it's going to be catalog, uh, there's many uh, catalog, okay? There's catalog database, catalog um, TCP IP node, okay? So here, catalog node. So first, we catalog node, provided the server information. So it's going to be DB2 catalog TCP IP node. So here, you need to specify the remote server name, okay? So it's going to be remote. In our case, the server is rel 8a. And then you specify the server. That means the server is actually basically the port number. Then server. So we use the default 50,000 uh, remote catalog TCP. Oh, forget, for, uh, we need a name. 
So the node name, let's just reuse the host name. So it's, it's not, uh, uh, it's called uh, rel, rel 8a remote. Okay. So if you do a dp2 or list node, Well, now we catalog the uh, node. This is the remote host, the port number, the protocol. So once you catalog a node, you, you can catalog the database on the node. Okay, so the command is going to be catalog db. The remote database we call the GSDB, you know. So we're going to use the same name and add node well, just this one okay now we catalog a database so you can run the db2 list uh, db directory so we have um, this database and uh, add this node okay so now let's do a, a connection test okay this is very similar to the Oracle's RTS. So basically, you create a engine for this database, remote database you can connect to. Okay, so it's going to be DB2 connect to GSDB. DB, you you need to give the user. Uh, so you, in my case, I just use the same um, the instance owner. Okay. So I have a, a using a simple password. Okay, so you see I, I connected a database, okay? It is a remote database uh, on the Linux server, so. All right, so now we define this uh, database it is. so that is the source. So here we're gonna see the data, um, data source, okay? So it's going to be GSDB, okay? And uh, those things are optional, we'll just leave it blank. So next, go to the security. The security say we're gonna um, you know, choose the, uh, the force. So we're gonna use a remote user or remote login and with password. So in my case, we're gonna use the DB2 one user and uh, the same password, okay? Let me make sure the password is correct. DB2, okay. So then the server option, there's nothing we can change, and then we can click OK. Before we click OK, let's go to the script. If you run, if you want to run from like uh, command line, you can run this from command line. You see, basically, the first line says sp add link link the server okay and this server name server product uh, this is what being uh, specified and uh, the data source and at the end it is the add link server login so basically you see the uh, remote user remote password you can run those um, uh, TC code is uh, either way is fine. So I'm going to just run from the uh, the GUI. Okay, where is it? Okay. So it looks everything ready. Let's just click OK. Okay, successful. And uh, let's see where's my Okay, here. So once this is completed, um, so see, um, we have the link to server created, okay? It's linked to DB2. Let's do a connection test. So test connection, successful, okay? If you create a successful, that means it's typically, it's already uh, successful. So let's browse the catalog. 
So there's nothing here, default, tables and views. Okay, so you see we get an error message. So what does this error message say? This is the error message, okay? Let's show the uh, detail. So, so it's going to be this one. This is uh, the um, access denied, okay? So I just copy this one to some uh, Google search and uh, let's uh, see. You'll find uh, some information, okay? So let's just uh, copy paste the, uh, this one. Okay, so here I said um, is one of the IBM link uh, link assessors. Um, basically, it's it's indicates it doesn't matter if it's uh, IBM um, O L EDB provider and Microsoft. So this is basically talking about the same thing. So basically, the solution is is you need to enable the in process for this provider. Okay, what that means? Let's go back to the uh, to the um, to the provider list. So this is the the list of providers. Okay, uh, you can see this. Um, Oracle providers, you know, uh, SQL Server for um, Microsoft uh, for the SQL Server. So this is the IBM one. So we're going to right click and use the property. So you see the property, uh, you need to enable this allow in process. So let's click OK. So I believe if we work on IBM uh, or Oracle, you can do the same thing. We need to enable this uh, in process. Okay, just uh, so once this in process enabled, let's go back to this one. So let's see, let's see table, system tables. Uh, let's do a refresh. Okay, default tables. Now you see, uh, you can see all the tables uh, from the, the source. Um, so this is the system tables, this is user tables, let's see. And uh, so basically all the uh, DBT related table, it's show on the SQL server side. Uh, for example, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. So let's do a query to see if we can do a query, okay. Um, let's see. Um, no, you cannot do the query direct like uh, the normal table. The normal table, let's see uh, on the SQL Server um, table. Let's see. Let's see. Is this, this one? You can right click, select like you know certain rows from those table. However, for the table, uh, the link the uh, through the link the table. Um, you can script out the definition of this table, but uh, you have to use uh, uh, called open query to query this uh, data. Okay, so let's give an example. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm gonna see uh, a new query. Let's see, select start from first I linked I'm gonna uh, this, uh, link the server name linked to db2, okay? Then followed by the schema name db2 ins one dot v1. See if that uh, that works, okay? So let's try this one. Um, linked to db2 db2 is to one dot t1 um, 
it must be something else. Um, let's see example from IBM uh, from uh, SQL Server. So link to server. SQL Server, SQL Server, linked server to the okay, Microsoft. Mm, let's see where is the Microsoft page. Four part name query, so. Let's see. And uh, it's going to be, let's see. Oh, this one. Let's see. Oh, here, here it is the syntax. Basically, you right click, uh, script table as, select two, new query window. So basically, we need to provide it. It's called four part, um, uh, the link server name, the remote DB name, and the schema name, and the, um, the table name. Okay, let's do a query, select. So you see, this is the, the data from remote, okay? It's pretty handy. Uh, let's try one more country. Select to new query, okay? Then execute, okay, give you all the, uh, the information. All right, that's all for today.